Yo, what's good, Tristans? And she's friends! Today, we're gonna be reacting to Harry Styles singing Matilda live on this iTunes one night only thing, which I'm gonna be reacting to a lot of the songs from. So if you're interested in watching my playlist of me reacting to his set, there's gonna be a link in the description as well as a pinned comment down below. Super excited to watch this one. I think this is one of the most beautiful songs on the album. I know this is also one of y'all's favorite songs. But before we get started, be sure to check me out Instagram, TikTok, Patreon. On my Patreon, by the way, I have a singing technique tier. And on that tier, if this video gets enough views, I'm gonna do a more in-depth vocal analysis over on my Patreon in that tier. It's a pretty small community over there at the moment. So if you ask a question over there, I'll most likely be able to answer it. Anyway, let's just jump into this. The next song we're gonna play for you is called- The girl just shredded her vocal cords. <laughs> I guess it was written for a friend of mine that I felt like needed to hear something. And if there is anyone in the audience tonight who feels like this applies to them, it does. And this is for you as well. This is Matilda. That's sweet. He's really a good. Uh, he's really a good speaker. He's a good communicator. He seems really authentic when he talks to the audience in general. Oh my god! I love this. This uh, guitar riff with these beautiful harmonics. So pretty. You were riding your bike to the sound of it's no big deal. So I'm gonna let a lot of this play. I'm sorry for pausing it so early. But I gotta say, one of the most striking things about Harry's voice to me in this particular album is his quiet, low mid range. And that's exactly where a lot of the song sits and how well he's developed this particular sound. And it seems different to me from a lot of the earlier stuff that I've heard from him. You were riding your bike to the sound of it's no big deal. Whereas it's sort of like held more closed down sound, but it's also light and airy. It's so gorgeous, dude. And he does it so good. And you try to lift off the ground on the soul to Oh my God, he's even, he's just it's so intimate sounding. It's nothing about the way that you were treated ever seemed especially long until now. And he, 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 he is able to maintain it so high in pitch as well. You tie up your hair and you smile like it's no big deal. It just sounds so authentic. You can let it go. You can throw a party full of everyone you know. Not invite your family because they never showed you love. Don't have to be sorry for anything you've broken up. I love this song, dude. I love this acoustic uh, riff here. Matilda, you talk of the pain like it's all alright. He's getting a bit louder now in the second verse. But I know that you feel like a piece is dead inside. Not everything is airy. Oh, I love that little melody change. Really wanted to pause there, but I'm gonna let him go. It's none of my business, but it's just been on my mind. He sounds like he means what he's saying. You can let it go. You can throw a party full of everyone. Which not every pop singer can do. Don't have to be <laughs> He's making everybody cry. <laughs> you can see the world following the seasons any way you go. You don't need a reason because you hear little bits of his uh full the fuller part of his voice when he goes lower in pitch. You're just in time, make your tea and your toes. I love this bridge so much. The most striking thing straight away is he does this, yo! Yeah! He does this more open, full sounding note leading into this bridge that he was not doing before, right? Because he was doing that more light, closed down, quiet sort of a thing, generally speaking. And then he sort of just pops a little bit here. You don't have to be sorry for you're just in time, make your You're just in time. Where he says, yeah, <laughs> sound, if that makes sense. Anyway, it, it, it's just cool. I think that that texture is uh, needed in the song, and it's also very beautiful. Tea and your toast. He knows just when to do it. 
like vowels and things like that, how a singer chooses to sing a particular line or to change the structure. Like for example, singing quietly in the first verse, a little bit louder in the second verse, and in this bridge having this vowel that pops is the same thing as an artist, like a painter, choosing different colors off of their palette and then painting an image in that way. It's so beautiful because you don't want everything to be the same. You don't. Framed all your posters and that you close. And I gotta say, I'm so sorry for pausing it, but this bridge is so beautiful to me for a lot of different reasons. His ability to sing like as high as he does in this part of his voice at such a quiet volume without it necessarily being falsetto is so gorgeous. And also his ability to, and you're gonna hear this in a second, transition between his falsetto and his normal voice, falsetto being this voice, normal voice sort of just being where he talks from or his chest voice, whatever you wanna call it. His ability to make this transition without it sounding like he's changing between the registers is so, it's just so technically beautiful, but he does it so easily that you don't even necessarily know what's happening. Right there. Right there too. I love I'm melting. There's a lot to talk about here for me. I'm so sorry. I'll go bit by bit here. All the things that are striking to me and very beautiful and more technical, to be honest. I love this line because it builds, it builds, it builds, but when he gets to the high note and the climax of this line, he actually pulls the volume back. And so it kind of feels like you're going somewhere, you're going somewhere, and then you kind of relax. Because he doesn't like push that high note. He kind of goes for this lighter chest voice sound again. Oh, right there. I don't believe that time Such a light chest voice here. Almost there, going back. I love his falsetto there. His falsetto is so light sounding because he's making it so small, if that makes sense. Mm, I love that right here as well. He wants to give it a little bit more, so he does give it a little bit more, but he doesn't go all the way because he still wants it to be light. And you can see in his face, he's working for this note, even though it's so quiet. I know a lot of vocal coaches say, you know, don't put any effort in, sing as if nothing is happening, but that a lot of times doesn't give the quality to the sound that you actually want to get out of it. And so him scrunching his face gives it this open quality, but at the same time, this held lighter quality. Because if he just were to do it as if it was nothing, can let it go. It's not the same as this, can let, having this little bit of a uh, crunch to it. Sorry, lyrics are wrong, but you get the idea. All right, we're not unfinished now. I could go on forever. <laughs> He's so good. Didn't even know how good he was. Sometimes I wonder when I look at the audience of a singer that I react to, if this is you guys watching, like, is this you? I sure hope not. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you. That's such a beautiful song. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this. It was super, super fun. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. Again, if you wanna watch all of my reactions to this performance, there's gonna be a link down in the description, link in the pinned comments. Also, there's gonna be a link down in the description to my Patreon as well. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction. Until next time, just stands. Interest room. Peace.